up and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out your guys' pick, which is why Mamamoo is the most underrated K-pop group. I'm excited for it because this is going to be kind of like a guide for these girls. You know, their music is really good. We did listen to the first album and then, you know, we did uh, listen to a couple of their songs and I guess um, Moom Bayo, um, her, um, I guess her solo project. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get to see, you know, these girls because, you know, a lot of them, or at least I think a couple of them are older than I am. I think at least two of them are older than I am. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to check it out. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Why Mamamoo is the most underrated K-pop group. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. <laughs> As K-pop keeps getting immense popularity worldwide, appealing to a wider audience and slowly getting into mainstream territory, there is one group that despite both local and global success remains largely overlooked. And there are definitely not enough videos out there about them. So let's dive into it. Okay. Great. This is great editing so far. Ooh, if that's the opening for every single concert, I'm here for it. Mama Moo is a four-member South Korean girl group from an underdog company that debuted in 2014, making them part of the third K-pop generation of idols. Oh, wait, renowned for their exceptional. Who else? Third generation. Making them part of the third K-pop generation. BTS, Red Velvet, EXO, Blackpink, Twice, and GOT7. Okay, so we gotta check out some more of these guys, EXO and GOT7. I think my friend did mention that her mom was really into this band. I think it was EXO. I'm not too sure. GOT7. Okay, nice. Generation of idols. Renowned for their exceptional vocal abilities, their range, charisma, emotive delivery, and overall brand. They are set apart as a group with unparalleled talent and originality in the industry. From the moment they started, Mamamoo has been consistently disrupting the conventional oh. norms of the Korean music scene, forging a genre of their own. Their concept is neither cutesy or badass, but offers an mm. alternative that challenges the usual stereotypical portrayal of girl groups, often designed to cater to the male gaze. Instead, oh. they went with their own style, debuted older than what is the norm, and subjected themselves to the harsh criticisms of a public that wasn't used to idols not a Wait. I need to read these, sorry. And subjected them. Oh, I saw. Daring outfit sparks controversy. Oh, okay. So this is before uh, really like lady outfits became like Britney Spears in the 90s, basically. Themselves ...to the harsh criticisms of a public that wasn't used to idle. Mama Mo Solar fires back at the malicious comments on the... Not Why not? ...abiding to their impossibly high standards. 어떤 틀이 있는데 사실 그런 느낌은 아니란 말이죠. 마마무도 사실 확신이 있었어요 처음에. 네. 그런 생각을 아예 안 했었던 것 같아요. 정말 뭐 키가 되게 커가지고 막 모델처럼 막 멋있거나 막 이런 것도 아니고 얼굴이 막 그렇다고 되게 예쁘지도 않고. So 너네는 그냥 좋은 무대와 좋은 노래 이걸로 너네는 승부를 봐야 된다. They were often disrespected for their unconventional visuals and personalities, not embodying mm -hmm. the cute and innocent image that female idols usually adopt. So they basically like paved the way for like a lot of uh, female K-pop artists then because if you look at it, every single K-pop artist or like K-pop group today is like goofy and just like kind of out there like that. That's so cool. Nice. As young trainees, I mean, sucks, Mugio, nice. Wien, and Hwasa had to prove their way to Hwasa. success with the one element that truly matters. Sorry. Wien and Hwasa so had to prove their way to success with the one element that truly matters and is too often dismissed. Music. Music, First yeah. First ever artist of their company, Rainbow and, Bridge or the, voice. World, the girls had one chance to make a lasting impression. And that they did. Nice. Let's get away. 
So when they say like the, so she's not the type of like artist that they're looking for, or is that more of like because of her looks or something? Because she's gorgeous to me. They should all get tattoos and mustaches. Even though on their they fingers. gained attention with this first stage, the girls had very little to build upon not benefiting from what the already established agencies with money and reputation do. Right. In the early years, so RBW like, couldn't even afford them a choreographer, leaving like the group BTS to make then. their own dances and promoting their songs with streets performances, while other groups would access large-scale promotions and resources upon debut. Not only were the girls struggling financially, they would also mention how they'd feel out of place and snubbed from industry actors. But despite the hardships, Mamamoo would start growing a small fandom and achieve some success, like their first music show win with the song You're the Best. You're the best. Hey. Over the course of their career, Mamamoo has oh. shown significant maturity and evolution in their music, consistently so delivering high-quality performances and attesting that there is no genre or style they cannot master. And even though there aren't many topics on which the K-pop community aligns, the girls' indisputable talent, charismatic oh. stage presence, and flawless live vocals are a unanimous agreement. Jeez. So, ha 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 Solar. I think they'll be able. They'll be easy for me. I really helped. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that's Mumbai. So then she is. To survive in an industry that entertains most of the I'm trying to remember their names. No, I only got three of them, I think. Wahasa. Oh, it's either Hawasa or Wahasa. <laughs> then there's Mumbai, Solar. And then. The other one's name I can never remember. Wait, what? JYP said that? I missed that part. Normally there are pattern of hip hop girls. You aren't all like, geez, okay. So yeah, they kind of are kind of like um BTS in a way. Look, that wasn't used to idols not abiding to their impossibly high standards. As young trainees, Solar, Moonbuel, Wean, and Hwasa. Wean! It's Wean! Wean, Hwasa. Hwasa. Okay. Where were we? Uh, sorry, guys. I just. I, I had to. I had to.
So she must be Hwas or Ian. Nice. To survive in an industry that entertains most of the spotlight on visuals and hard choreographies, Mamamoo would stand out by participating in vocal-centric shows like Immortal Songs and infuse their performances with fun moments and ad-libs in award shows that are usually a little more serious. <laughs> Oh, she say? <laughs> I think it's Wien. Wien and Hwasa. I was wondering probably confused the names. At this point, you might see how Mamamoo's fresh and forward attitude may have shaken pre-established models. Yet we've only scratched the surface of the extent to their influence and artistry, starting with I their know. music. I know. Have their you seen how many freaking music videos so they have? many various styles, from the jazz, crazy. soul, and funk influences of their first EPs. Coming up. Coming up. I have a playlist of what we're gonna do for the next video. To pop in R&B with projects like the Four Season EPs or the album Travel. Chuck. Or even hip hop and blues in Reality in Black. Destiny makes me cry, destiny makes me smile. Oh. The one video I can only urge you to watch if you want a fast introduction to their catalog is the Killing Voice special. It's really worth it. Yeah, you guys want Although me to watch, react to that one as well. Although has limited creative agency of many idols within their company, the members of Mamamoo are invested musicians with hands-on input on their work. They are nice. in fact the most credited girl group in KOMCA history, the Korean wow. Music Copyright Association that registrates when an artist oh, participates wow. in the writing of song composition, lyrics, or arrangement. Cool. <laughs> Nice. They are like BTS. They're like female BTS. This is so cool. With themes like heartbreaks and trying to cling on to something that's falling apart, the turbulence of modern life with introspection on pain growth and loneliness, or uplifting anthems that bring a message of self-respect and confidence, the quartet's mission is to creatively evoke powerful emotions in their audience, something mm. they achieve brilliantly by incorporating vivid imagery and metaphors that add richness and dimension to their storytelling. <laughs> I don't remember if this one was on there or not, my playlist. Might be? One of their most recognized works in that aspect is their conceptual project entitled Four Seasons, Four Colors, a year-long multi-EP installment that represented each member through a seasonal-themed lens. Nice. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
This era yeah. enabled the group to capture the attention of new fans and make a significant turning point in their career, reaching heights they had yet to achieve. But with more success comes more scrutiny, and as a team that has made clear from the very right. start that they would not play by the rules or answer to please, the girls Good. had to face numerous backlash in that time. To add context, mm -hmm. South Korea is still drowning in conservative ideology. The word right. feminist alone is enough to cause outrage, and idols out of all people are to remain in line and not cause controversy, which is why most of them don't openly affiliate with any social movements. The Harvard Political Review states, In South Korea, an activist can face barriers to her political career, a K-pop star is met with fans burning her photos, and YouTubers receive death threats. Politicians mm -hmm. refer to feminism as toxic as terrorism, and even women's rights activists hesitate to use the term feminist to describe themselves in fear of discrimination and judgment. In those circumstances, you can see how female idols that deliberately exercise their confidence on stage, encourage fans to step out of the mold, and explicitly don't care for the prejudices thrown their way, are judged as nice. a threat to some. Mamamoo are not ones to abdicate, and when they don't answer directly to those critics in interviews and videos, they do this. All I don't wanna be is my gym, now I'm dead or ballin' Kick it, Marty, I get more up that heat pill Do it, do it, like me, do it, not a doubt I hate it, kick it, clap and clap and move the pets your hip In 2019, they come back with Hip, a single that will cement their position as a main actor in the industry I think this one the is on there, track on my playlist gathers most of the ideas that the group has been hip. trying to convey with each of the girls embodying different characters that initiate important conversations. Oh. With a single song, they manage to make a statement about climate change, give exposure to drag queens, represent strong oh. women from every profession, and address the media criticisms. I want you to wow. The song will go on to become a massive hit, peaking at number one in many countries, cool. as well as in the Billboard World Digital Song Sales and the Worldwide iTunes Album Chart. A milestone wow. for a girl group that doesn't come from the big three and has basically built itself up. Nice. Later on, they continued to break records with new songs like Aya and walked their own path out of the mainstream trends by releasing an album made entirely of ballads. Very bold move for a K-pop act. But Mamamoo's cultural and political impact doesn't stop there. While misogyny intersects with other social issues such as race and sexual orientation, the girls have made themselves advocates and allies of marginalized groups, using their platform to shed light on important topics or create a safe space for underrepresented communities. Nice. Love to see it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> is like we we better don't. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 여러분. 한국에서 활동하고 있는 드레 아티스트 나나 영롱 킴입니다. 아, 터키어 문화 축제라는 곳에도 기부를 했었다라는 네. 소식을 전달했을 때 이제 많은 모든 멤버들이 다 긍정적으로 반응해 네. 주셨지만 특히 몽별 씨가 칼도 굉장히 녹슨 칼? 그러니까 굉장히 비위생적인 칼을 사용을 하는 거예요. 음. 저는 누군께 말하고 싶지만 저는 성별을 넣는 걸 별로 좋아하지 않거든요. 성별 좋지만 하는 걸 좋아하지 않는데 이번 기회에 와. 또 저희 의견을 또 회사에서 또 들으시고 또잘 While queer baiting has been a rising conversation in K-pop, Mamamoo's stance and actions speak for themselves. There are so many more examples than the ones I've shown you, like how they're the first ever K-pop group to have a queer fan club that raises funds for LGBT plus projects, or how wow. Moon Girl used to write letters every year on National Coming Out Day. To Mamamoo, being different is not something you need to hide or be ashamed of. 이 시대가 말하는 미의 기준에 내가 맞지 않다면 내가 또 다른 기준이 되어야겠다. 
And as each member forged a distinctive solo career alongside their group activities, they continued to convey the team's beliefs and artistry while exploring their own. Wasa's career as a solo artist Wasa. is very much in resonance with Mama Moo's message. She often addresses the pressure and expectations placed on her as a public figure and confronts the societal standards that have affected her self-esteem. If mm -hmm. from the outside her songs may sound upbeat and fun, the lyrics are often introspective and expose right. the inner demons and struggles she deals with every day. <laughs> And while she nice. remains the main target of hate, she has leveraged it into a source of strength, becoming one of the most successful and admired soloists in the country and maintaining a wow. consistent presence on the music charts. <laughs> Aww, cute. Like other members of the group, Hwasa's recognition also comes from her impact on the Korean hip-hop and R&B scene, with the multiple collaborations she's worked on with rappers like Loco, DPR Live, Epic High, and others. Korean. Okay, so this one's Korean. Okay. A lot of people ask me to check out this one. People are crazy. They are beautiful. Ween's expression for the majority of her solo work has been delving into the turbulence of young adulthood through soft pop and R&B inspirations paired with Ooh, poetic imagery. As she grows to appreciate herself more as an artist, she learns not to dwell on the past and look to a brighter future with the newfound confidence fans gave her. Nice. Her delicate yet powerful voice makes her an excellent fit for a wide range of music styles, which she had the opportunity to explore <laughs> through collaborations with artists like Sick K, PH1, or Cold. <laughs> I like his sweater. And while she enjoys taking on new challenges that showcase her incredible versatility, Ween's core characteristic is defined by her ability to marry disciplines, like the artwork she created for her song Goodbye, where she offers a rare representation mm. of same-sex love in a K-pop music video. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Another one that was recommended. I think this was also recommended. <laughs> you guys recommend a lot of stuff. I love her voice too though. Like the one that we did check out. Um, Nalto? That one's really good. As the main rapper her of voice the group, is very unique. Moon Biol has had the chance with her own Moon music Biol. to broaden her artistic horizons Biol. and demonstrate her full capabilities. Mm. Known for releasing songs with gender-neutral or ambiguous lyrics, she's crafted a unique identity around her androgynous image, challenging the binary view of gender through music which is very well exhibited in the sultry, sapphic Let's anthem go. shutdown that she wrote and performed with Sori, another icon of the queer community. Wow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the rest of her nice. catalog either delves into introspective storytelling, where she lays bare her emotions and tackles themes like loneliness and self-hatred, or into more uplifting songs with a few collaborations with mostly female singers. Because why not? Like Mumbio. It's cool. Oh. It's so bright. <laughs> oh. Compared to the rest of her the members, crazy. Solar is still at the start of her solo journey, and aside from the soundtracks of K-dramas, some covers, and a handful of collaborations, her own material came about in the form of refreshing songs and strong visuals that capture her bright and breezy personality. So sweet. You're so cute! You make me feel good. Despite her playful lyrics and demeanor, her music upholds an important message of valuing inner beauty and uniqueness, principles she's steadfastly embraced throughout her career with her carefree attitude and attraction to unconventional concepts. Whether it's through her YouTube channel, television appearances, or musical theater, Solar has consistently demonstrated that she possesses one of the most spectacular voices of the industry. Yeah. If pushing artistic boundaries far and wide as a group or as soloists is part of Mamamoo's greatest achievements, they also enjoy the calmer phases of their career, using them as opportunities to experiment and maintain their reputation as a constant source of creative surprises. Among those would be their anthology album released in 2021 that revisits their greatest hits with remixes and new arrangements. Oh. Nice. That's so 
still gonna sound more like country. Or the first subunit of the quartet, with Solar and Moonbeal joining forces as Mamamoo Plus. Ooh, While Wean and Fasa that. work on their solo <laughs> activities, which doesn't stop them from still collaborating together. Throughout their nice. journey, Mamamoo has maintained their down-to-earth and approachable demeanor, curating a close relationship with their fans, but also with each other, supporting their individual endeavors and harmonizing their talents to create a unique identity and sound. As they continue to walk the Rainbow Bridge and captivate audiences around the world with their talent and authenticity, my hope is that this video gave honor to their legacy and allowed you to get to know them, their art, and what they stand for a little better. They should all get little tattoos of mustache. <laughs> nice. You guys were right. I really did enjoy that. It gave us a lot of different information about them. I don't think it's necessary to pick a bias for these girls because I um, cause just because everything, you know, like they stand for and everything, they're like the BTS, like the girl version, BTS, you know, they it, it seems like they paved the way um, to make it easier for a lot of other K-pop groups of today. Um, with a lot, because, you know, if I, I think if they weren't, if they weren't around, I think, you know, a lot of different K-pop groups would have been struggling with a lot of the same thing that they did with rep rep representations and then also, um, and a lot of like the different outfits that they do wear because, um, you know, if that was an issue from before, you know, it's kind of like Britney Spears back in the 90s, you know, she was one of the people who, who were one of the ones who started with like the tight outfits and everything. And so, you know, I think without these girls, you know, everybody else, you know, it would, the K-pop industry would be like very conservative um, for today's uh, girl groups, basically. So I can see, you know, how important that they can't, that, that they are to the K-pop industry. And I'm very excited to get to know like more about them. So I really love today's video. I love what each and every one of them, you know, stands for. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get to, into some more of them. Uh, we, on our next video, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different music videos that we are gonna be watching from Mama Moose. So you guys have been asking for um, a deep dive, so that's your deep dive. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.